the data analytics market right now is all the o saturated there's just too less openings and too much competition for data analytics probably all of them have learned the same tools done the same projects and applied to the same companies so how do you actually break into data analytics and stand out in this over saturated job market without any experience or if you're looking for a career switch there are two paths you can take one is by spending a lot of money doing a degree and becoming an analyst but if you have decided that you cannot afford to spend it or if it's not worth it you can instead spend a lot of time and become an analyst so this video is all for the second group of people who want to learn data analytics on their own without spending any money and without having any experience my name is sandeep and in this channel i talk about data analytics job search and masters in us so if you are someone who is interested in these topics please consider subscribing to the channel step number one learn the tools i have talked about this already in the previous video so if you have not checked it out please check the video in the link above the tools would be any, any spreadsheet tool like excel or google sheet and sql it's the bread and butter of data analysis it's the most important tool learn a data visualization tool like power bi or tableau i prefer power bi but tableau is kind of more popular you can choose any one of it and then a programming language like python r is another language that you can consider but it's not that widely take like two to three months to just learn the tools you can go to youtube watch some videos take some udemy courses or coursera courses i attached some useful resources and links in the description like it includes video from look better's code academy code basics please check it out and first learn all these basic tools step number 2 build your credentials and qualifications i built my credentials and qualifications by doing a masters in us by spending $50000 so if you are not decided to do masters and spend that money then the second best way is to do a highly credible certification like the google data analytics professional certificate can already see like 2.2 million people have already enrolled in it so it's quite popular you through all the day to day working through data analysts like data collection data cleaning data transformation manipulation and the importance of storytelling and visual comedy. you can get a peek into what our data analyst role will look like and it will build a good platform to build your skills and knowledge wait it's not free it's paid you can get a course subscription for one year but comparing that with the $50000 $60000 that people are spending on a master's degree subscription is literally nothing thinking about the returns you're going to get if you want to level up you can also go for the advanced google data analytics certificate this course is more focused on data science and machine learning but there is no harm in taking it and coupling it with the google data analytics certificate step 3 build projects now if you're done the above two steps and say that now i am ready to become data analyst just stop that thinking right now you cannot become a data analyst just by youtube videos and udemy courses you become a data analyst by actually doing and learning by doing is the best way to learn build projects that would probably be the best way to learn so there are two ways to do that one is by doing guided project the other is by doing unguided projects so start with you can do one guided project guided project will be a project where you will just follow along a youtube video or a udemy course and just copy what the person is doing and try to replicate that and on youtube there are a lot of guided projects but i particularly like this playlist from code basics where they have some interesting projects like cricket analytics sales analytics and hr analytics so you can pick and choose one of these do it and build your confidence first and now once you've done that you have to move towards a unguided project because in the real world as a data analyst there is no one to guide you and it's only when you do these unguided projects you'll know what are the real challenges problems and difficulties that a data analyst faces to do these unguided projects all you need is a quality data set you can get a data set from anywhere like kaggle or google data sets or from any other source if you have your own data sets that's well and good i personally prefer kaggle so you can go to kaggle sort and filter by you know what's trending what's hot and what's popular i would say always pick quality over quantity instead of doing like 10 small and low quality projects just do like 3 to 4 high quality and challenging projects pick something which will replicate what you do in real world like amazon sales youtube statistics data credit card transactions apple and netflix stock prices all these data sets have different data points so you have different questions to analyze and think about for example one of the project which i did during my masters was you know video game sales so, so you might be thinking like probably everyone is going to do some projects so how to actually stand out how to stand out in 2024 is by using ai try to integrate ai into the project as much as possible there are some libraries in python which can do that and you can explore different and creative ways to actually integrate ai into the project itself so when you're doing that you're adding more value on your resume and linkedin that will actually catch the eyes of the recruiters i realized this when i was doing my job search recently hiring managers and recruiters were particularly interested in the ai related project that i worked on once you've done this you need to build the proper portfolio it would include uploading all the python and sql code or code repository like github it's very easy to show on share if it's on github and then do a proper documentation and presentation of the project so write a medium article 
or maybe make a PowerPoint presentation and then write a LinkedIn post based on it. So it will be a summary of the project along with all the links to GitHub and the Medium article or the presentation. To go one level further, if I am your place, I would certainly do a YouTube video that will certainly appeal to recruiters and interviewers that this guy is certainly putting in the effort. Add all of this to your resume and LinkedIn. That will be like a portfolio. But if you want to do it in a more professional way, you can always build a portfolio website. You can do it for free if you know a bit of HTML and CSS or you can use ChatGPT. Or if you're someone like me who doesn't want to go that route, you can always do something like me where I bought a domain and then I set up the website using WordPress. Comment below if you want to make a video on how I did that. One of the essentials of a data analyst is having a very good keyboard that can improve your thinking and productivity. One such fantastic keyboard is a Keychron Q14 Max. What I love about this keyboard is the layout itself. It creates less strain on your hands and wrists and hence makes typing much more comfortable and enjoyable. The keycaps are very well spaced out. The backlight is amazing in different colors. The battery lasts for up to 300 hours. So if you're interested, kindly check the link in the description. If you feel this is expensive, there are so many other variants from Keychron that might fit your budget better. Step four, which is probably the hardest is apply and get the job. So that's a saying that you need experience to get a job, but you need a job to get experience. So it's like the complete chicken and egg story. The market is already oversaturated, but I would just like to say one thing. If you really have the passion for it, you will find a way no matter what all you need is just one project or one job or one internship that would help you break into data analytics to build this real world experience there are three ways you can do that one is by doing internships even an unpaid internship is fine instead of aiming for the big companies try for startups of just like five to ten people so when i started a career i was a software developer and then when i switched my career to data analytics i actually worked at a startup for a few months just try to find these startups sometimes they might not be on linkedin so you need to find them on well found or any other website that would be a lot easier than competing with other people who are applying for jobs in big companies the second thing what you can do is try to do a freelance project on either fiverr or upwork sell your services for free initially because you don't have the experience right now try to reach out to all these potential clients on linkedin and cold emailing. So doing a freelance project would be a great way to build your experience. And the third way, which is really hard, is try to get a full-time job. Full-time jobs is where the market is too competitive. A lot of people are trying for few jobs left. So what you can do is just be smart about it. Instead of just applying and waiting for results, instead try to reach out to recruiters on LinkedIn, try to reach out to people working in the company and try to get referrals, send cold emails to recruiters and hiring managers. I have talked about all of this in one of my previous videos. So please check the link above on what are the job search strategies that you can use. Along with this, the best way to stand out in this market is keep posting on LinkedIn. I just cannot stress more on LinkedIn because LinkedIn is a really powerful tool that will actually get your job. In fact, I was laid off in January of this year and I got my job in March. Just applying to companies never kind of helped. What actually got me job was just writing on LinkedIn. That actually got one of the senior people in one of the companies and that person referred me to the hiring team and I got a job after that. Clients and companies might prefer people who are actually active on LinkedIn compared to people who are not active on LinkedIn. So you might be asking, what do I write about? You can write about anything. You can write about like what you're learning currently and you can write about any interesting news on data analytics. You can share your journey. There are a lot of different topics that you can write about. Just go on LinkedIn and see what other people are doing and uh, try to replicate that, add a bit of unique perspective to it. So if you do all of these steps, I'm sure you will reach the eyes of recruiters and hiring managers. So hopefully you found good value in this video. If you want to know what a day in the life of a data analyst will look like, I made a video on that. Please check the link above and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Please let me know your questions and thoughts in the comments and if you have any ideas for videos that i need to cover or make about please let me know that as well see you soon with another exciting video bye